But Michael didn't need tricking. I think what it is, Michael's so used to doing it. He kind of just... It, it just takes over. This is a, a lying cow. But that is true. What? You do take over. Well, yeah, I guess. See, this is the thing. When you're used to doing it so certain way and someone else comes in... Yeah, but you you are like that. I'm not criticising yeah. you. You have a first set where you want to do things and you, you watch over, but, hey, come on, surely I'm better at it than her. No, no, but it's difficult when you've managed big businesses to do it, with though. loads of people and you have to keep lots of things on the boil. If you put that into a, even someone making a dinner... Yeah, you, you watch over them. Yeah, well, it's called looking, isn't it? Seeing. Yeah. I see what's happening around me. A lot of people don't. Mm. Time for the main attraction. Oh, the surprise for me, puppies! <laughs> Yeah, but I look like a transvestite. Oh, she loved it. She absolutely loved it. This is the sexiest I've felt for about two and a half years. It's like I'm, I'm free. One, two, three, go. What does that mean, sexiest you felt two and a half years? It's just uh, me. Being in front of the camera is sexy. You, you don't know because you're a geezer. What do you it's, mean? It's, it's like, I don't... Get your car for Razor, phone. shut up. You're just being silly. No, don't Because I can get a camera in the, in the old... Bedroom, if you want me to, no problem. Try it then, should we do that? <laughs> I don't think there's one big enough to get me in. There must be a wide angle lens to get this in. Michael wanted to try some new things too. I'd just like to have a bit more personal freedom, freedom to think about what I would like to do <laughs> for me rather than what I would like to do for us as a couple. I think time apart doing separate things means you have lots of different, kind of diverse things to talk about, which can never be a bad thing. But that's Michael's balls because you do. You're always taking pictures. I was saying my my time is our our time is it's a mutual thing, isn't it? I think well, that's anything, cut to the I'm, quick, I'm you know. Because the, the producers wanted something and it, it was difficult to squeeze it out and it didn't come out the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's all in the edit, so you, wouldn't you, you like lost your point time. there. I'll clean it. A scented a and now for the romance. I'll call her Lulu, that's my, that's my pet name, Lulu. Are you with this out? It's took this experience to realise oh, that we made it up. Like Ray, shut up! And perhaps a little lazy to what, what you do for me and Pebbles. This exercise has proved to me that you are the greatest mum and girlfriend. See? Oh, yeah, but why are you doing that for? You don't know. Why are you getting all girly for? Sitting on the edge. You are. I didn't know what I read. I can't remember. Why are you crying? Who's crying? You're crying. Oh. I heard that you. It was just an image. He was. He was just gentle. But I, I do think those kind of sportsmen are. They're all big sissies underneath it all. They can pump themselves up with all the muscles that they want, but they're just softies underneath. Mm. But it's a, it's a cliché time, isn't it? Never judge a book by its cover. Mm. You know that more than anyone. Mm. I didn't think he was bad at all. Not my kind of person. And if she's not happy, she should do something about it. Rose, you need to marry Pete Burns, mate. He's good for yeah, you. Yeah, all right. Um, well, Stephen, what on earth is on the agenda today? Well, I don't know, because there's already quite an interesting difference of opinion. Um, Leah seems to be saying that the programme presents Neil in a fairly fair light and that mm -hmm. he is as slobbish as he's painted, um, but Pete is actually massively defensive of him and is saying this is not in fact the case. So we really do have to sort out what the truth of the matter is. OK, in a few moments, our couples will be coming face-to-face -face in the Aftermath studio for the first time since the swap. Will Michael persuade Leah to take a swim in Lake Mee? And will Pete have learned anything at all from the swap? The answer to at least one of those questions is no. See you after the break. Welcome back to Wife Swap, The Aftermath. Before the break, this week's celebrity wives, Pete Burns and Leah Razor Ruddock Newman, watch their programme back for the very first time. Honey, whatever you think I am, that's what I am. OK, now go away and colour in a colouring book, you know? <laughs> Silly bitch. Oh, my God! What are you doing? I've done the ass, man. How can he make you do things and I can't? So, with the help of our expert, Stephen Bryars, we're hoping to iron out any ruffled celebrity feathers. So, please welcome Pete and Michael and Leah and Neil. Hello. 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 How are you? Good. Good. Thank you very much for coming. Um, OK, you've seen the show. Initial impressions, I'm going to start with you, um, Razor and Leah. What did you reckon? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't as painful as I thought. I'm a big slobbin. I know I'm a slobbin. 
Sometimes it's good to be a slob and the baddie of a show. Take some pressure off everyone else. You're the only person else. watching the programme back that I actually felt might have fallen asleep. <laughs> 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 you were just so <laughs> relaxed. That's me, isn't it? That's just the way I am. And, um, you know. I, 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 it was, it was I good. Think, I, th I thought it was brilliant. Really did. I think everyone came across really well. What? You laughed at that. No, no, no. We just, uh, when we watched it, we just thought it was quite dull. But I think if, you'd, if it's actually about yourself and you're used to seeing yourself and what oh, you do, it it's not as interesting as watching other people. OK, Stephen, what do you want to start with? Um, I want to start with you, Leah. Um, you clearly love Razor, but you did very much put forward the position that there were elements of yourself and your identity that were getting a little bit lost um, since you'd become mother to Pebbles and, and since you've been oh, okay. his partner. Having a baby is... I think it goes like that with everyone, but you, you have to get yourself back. I mean, I want to go back to work and stuff. Mm. Razor knows that. I've had the time with the baby, um, and I, I hope Razor, you know, sticks. Oh, I want you to go work. You know what I mean? I want you to do what, what makes you happy. Don't you? No, I, will, I do want to go back to work, but I, I'll have to juggle everything. And I, I couldn't do that. I've said it, and I've said it, I'll say it again. I mean, Leah's fab, but there is an element of her that, you know, she is a showgirl. Put a camera on her, and she'll and she'll do it like a professional, but I think being based in Hastings, having the baby, being away from London where those kind of jobs are going to happen yeah. is obviously going to stop you having the kind of enthusiasm to get up on the train, you know, get another book of pictures together and start doing it, isn't it? Because you're in yeah, like a certain it's getting, it's, comfort yeah, zone right. down there. It's me having to mm. get off my ass and do it. OK, we've got a clip to show you. Have a look. Let the sun shine. I'd have a nervous breakdown if I did this every day. Today's really my first taste of it, the six o'clock. So I need some rest oh, and... Uh, come up there. Just need help and company, really. Oh, God. OK, Stephen, what's your point? Well, in the programme, Pete, we see you struggling with the lack of support and attention you receive from Razor. Um, how sorry did you feel for Leah? The only struggle I had was being in what, what to me, was, was the loneliest place on earth. I like cities. That's the only struggle that I had. Did you feel sorry for Leah in her position no. in the house? I do, I, I've got no view on other people's lives. I'm not going to okay. form opinions and say, oh, I feel sorry for you, or I think you're doing the wrong mm. thing. I, that's not, it's you know, I'm old enough to know better. I've got my life. That's my life. We've got our life. They've got their life. And the last thing I wanted to come in to this as is end up with some kind of fucking relationship counsellor. Mm. It's you not know. my business. It's their business. It's not your business either. It's their business. We all got a nice check. We're all very happy. Thank you very much for ching. <laughs> But you also did have an experience, didn't Sorry. you? No. I mean, when we think about sort of public perceptions, Pete, I mean, you, you, have, this, you have this reputation of being kind of quite a uh, sort of, I don't know, a sort of attention, sort of diva-like personality. Do I? 